I'm here with Alexandros Gikopoulos, who is a famous Greek mixologist. He's working with all kinds of hotels and restaurants and bars to create unique cocktails, as well as teaching mixology around the world. So nice to be here with you, Alexandros. Nice to meet you. We're going to talk about Uzo next. Of course. It's a very sure. Greek spirit, and I want to learn all about it. I know that many of our readers and our audience comes to Greece, and they drink Uzo, and they want to know more. Tell me about Uzo. Uzo is a grain spirit. This is one of uh, very good choices you can find around the Greece. One is uh, from uh, the Cardassian distillery and one, the other one is from uh, 35, the Cretan distillery. Uh, the one is from Tignavos and the other one is from Crete. Uh, Uzo, it's when you see it, Uzo, uh, and uh, when you call, we call Uzo, uh, something from a grain spirit and uh, with hints of uh, anise uh, inside. It's similar to pastis, when you know from uh, the French. It's uh, very delicate, very light as the, when you come uh, to your mouth. And if you, if you are loved with uh, the anise, uh, the aftertaste is perfect and very balanced, all the chipuro. Uh, the way you can drink it, it's uh, with ice and uh, two parts of water, one part of uzo with two parts of water. It's, I think it's a, a great uh, dilution uh, for uh, your uso. And uh, if you have a cucumber inside, I think it's uh, much more perfect. You can enjoy it uh, under the sun or you can enjoy it with uh, f uh, fish, fried fish, fried vegetables, um, or salads. It's uh, a very good drink. Uh, and it's very easy to find different etiquettes here in Greece. I know that uh, the, the Anis, they don't like it uh, in uh, too much people, but uh, it's very, very common to, to the French people. And it's very tasty. Great. And Uzo is another PDO specific to yes, Greece, right? Yes, here in Greece. Can you tell me about it? Yes, it's a PDO with uh, the green spirits they usually make. So PDO, what does that mean? Product uh, with origin inside. Designation. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, behind all this. And uh, here in Greece, we have uh, many uh, different uh, places you can find Duzo. You can find Duzo in Peloponnesus, you can find Duzo in Crete, you can find Uzo uh, in uh, the middle of, uh, of Greece. Almost, uh, you can find Duzo in uh, Mytilini, it's a Greek island uh, near to Turkey. You can find it everywhere. Mm -hmm. And it's very closely identified with Greece, right? When yes, people yes, think. Yes. And uh, it's one of uh, the first products that they became world famous, uh, the Uso. And uh, when you see in people that they, they also, the, the first tourists here in Greece, they also know the Uso and, of course, the Chipuro, but the Uso, it's very easy to say because it's two words, Uso. Great. Um, Uzo is also a very social drink, right? It's yes, one. Yes, of course. It's a, a drink uh, for uh, when you go out for for a meal, when you go out for uh, in a taverna. Uh, it's a very common drink, and uh, you can find very, very, very uh, delighted uh, Uzo around. Great. So again, we're here with Alexandros Kikopoulos. We're talking about Greek spirits. Alexandros is a famous Greek mixologist, and we're learning about these various PDO uh, specific to Greece spirits, as well as talking about how they're used and enjoyed in Greek culture. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Thank uh, you. Thank great. You. So we are trying to tell stories about Greek culture and help our re uh, readers and our audience to know more from their experience. They're enjoying Uzo and Raki and Sipuro in various restaurants, and it's great to learn more about it. Alexandros, thank Thanks. you so much. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to see more super useful travel videos about Greece and beyond from SantoriniDave.com.